crafty people thanks for stopping by today i have another another design team project for trezor's deluxe this beautiful banner is compliments of many of the trezor's goodies i have another um collection of cards to share with you where i use some beautiful trezor's goodies so let me start with this one and i used this image again and I decided to go in a really different direction I wanted not just be blue but to pull out those pinks um, so I pulled this um, lace out of my stash and I used it all the way around the card but the really crowning piece is this gorgeous lace back here and this was a leftover scrap piece that I had in my Trezor's scrap stash and I layered it across the back of the card. I did some, um, some stenciling on this paper. Um, I did some frontage on my uh, frame. And I did blue and I did pink on this. So I kind of just alternated it. And I really, really love that look. Um, as a flat back heart and a flat back rose um, at the top and the bottom. And then I layered these... Um, appliques and little rolled roses um, on the edge there and then it just simply pops up on this lace and that is card number one okay card number two we'll go with i'm trying to get a little glue string off that does not want to cooperate Okay, card number two is this card. And I used this image in the last card collection, um, only I used a different die cut um, with it. But there is, um, you know, there's some kind of, um, they don't want you to use this image. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. But I was able to die cut it so that I still get the cupcake and the cute, um, cute little image there. So I layered some... Um, white corrugated board behind it. This is the lace that I use from Trezor's. And this is a scallop lace that kind of goes like this. And I cut it all apart and I used it to back my image. And I just love it. It looks like a beautiful lace doily. So it's all in placement, guys. Um, you don't have to just go by the direction the lace is going. You can do so much stuff with laces. Um, I bordered the edge of my corrugated board with this pink trim I had in my stash and each corner got a flower um, the same trim here and then some lace back behind there so then it pops up and I have this um, box pleated trim and some pretty rope there and then my sentiment area so that's card number two All right, card number three. Wow, this one's a little bit heavy. Can you imagine why? <laughs> I used another one of the Michaels frames, only I left this one a la naturale. Um, I used these uh, this pearl trim around, and then this gorgeous bling is another bling from uh, Trezor's that comes um, in a whole row of trim, and you just simply can cut this out. So you can use it all together or you can cut them and use them separately. And so that's how I decided to do it since those were the last two pieces I had left. So I wanted to use some gold and this beautiful wedding cake had some gold in it. So I used several um, different pieces of Trezor's gold lace down underneath here. And there's a little bit peeking out on each side there. There's some peeking out at the top. And then I cut apart some Trezor's lace that is like a gold flower. And I layered it back behind here so it just peeks through the little holes. And I think it just looks gorgeous. Lots of layering. These two also are pieces of scrap that I had left over. And I wanted it to kind of look like um, it was... The cake was setting on this beautiful display. So it pops up on this 
rosette trim that matches the flowers on the cake very beautifully, kind of a peachy pink. And there's the sentiment area. Oh, I forgot this gorgeous bling. Um, I actually cut a large piece of Trezor's bling apart so that I could use that on the card. And I just thought it looked so regal and so beautiful for a wedding. So that's card number three. Card number four is this card here. And again, I have used this image um, that I used last collection. And I think it's just as shabby and beautiful as it can be. Um, I used this um, Spellbinders die here. And this is a gorgeous Trezor's bling right here. Absolutely stunning. And I just layered some lace scraps, a rosette piece, some more lace scraps. And then underneath here is a Trezor's flower I took apart out of my last um, card collection. And um, I just layered on top of that. So I was able to use that flower um, in two separate projects and it was only one flower. This piece back here, this large lace is about this wide and absolutely, I just love putting it in the background of my cards. Um, I've used it several times for that and just beautiful. Um, crinkled seam binding bow, um, flower and an applique there and then it just pops up on the pearls just like that. So that's card number four. Card number five is very different. Are you ready? <laughs> um, and again, I felt like these were a set of Mother's Day cards and would be beautiful for Mother's Day. I really liked this one, even though it's a teddy bear like you would think it was a child. This, to me, reminded me of the mother bear and then the baby bear. And um, again, I used a Michael's frame. I distressed it with vintage photo and then I stamped it so it would look more vintage. Um, I thought the paper lends itself to vintage um, lace around the back. I had this um, ribbon in my stash. And then um, I, I wanted to use something that would bring kind of tie in with the natural looking wood and the brown of the bears. So I added this burlap um, twine bow and I just cut my burlap and pull the pieces out to use for that. Um, this is the beautiful, excuse me, <sighs> lace that I had um, from Trezor's. And again, this was like kind of a scrap piece I had left over and I just it's like one of my favorites. Um, I layered this lace kind of peeking out underneath that I had in my stash. And it pops up like this. This area is so light that a sentiment could be written right there on it. Um, I had this little trim in my stash and then I used um, like a piece of, uh, a thick piece of twine as my stopper. And that's card number five. So let me bring them back out and then you can tell me which one was your favorite and why. I really love making cards. It's like, you know, five little just pieces of, of art and um, I really enjoy it. So there they are. Card number one, card number two, card number three, card number four, and card number five. I hope you will head over to Trezor's. I will put my discount coupon code in the description box down below. Check them out on Facebook as well. Um, there's a great challenge every month for you to participate in, lots of fun. Um, Trezor's also has a website where you can purchase lots of other craft goodies besides um, laces, trims, and bling. There's papers, die, um, dyes, uh, flowers, you name it. If you need it for crafting, it's over there. So please check out all the links in the description box down below and have yourself a happy scrappy day. Bye.